Hi there, so we're going to show you how to do the firmware update on the Mitsubishi Electric A200 centralised controller. What you're going to need is a Microsoft Windows laptop. It has to be Windows, it cannot be Mac unfortunately. Uh, the other thing you're going to need is the LAN cable. It's going to connect your laptop to the A200. Uh, LAN cables might be referred to as Cat5 or Ethernet cables. Um, hopefully if I just bring this close enough you can see exactly what I'm talking about with that. So before we connect up, before we actually proceed with the update, um, the other things you're going to need are the update tool itself which is available in the document library and the firmware that we're going to update to the controller. I'll show you how to go about getting those if you haven't got those already. First thing, let's have a look at the controller and find out what version we've got currently. So in the top right hand corner we've got the icon that looks like a spanner. We're going to click on that. We need to enter username and password. This is pre-April 2024 so this has the default user of initial and the password is in it. If your controller was issued post April 2024 then you will have a specific username and password that you will need to enter for your controller. I can't tell you that, that will be on the packaging it came in. So once you've signed in, on the top right corner here we've got an arrow, we're going to go across and you're looking for the option that says network, we're going to click on network and these are the two bits of information we're looking for. IP address, and this one is 192.168.1.2 and the subnet mask 2.5, 2.5, That's all the information we need to get from this to be able to go ahead and do the update that we need. So I'm just going to press this icon in the top right corner. Yes, I'm happy to come out of that. And that's that part done. The next part, we're going to have a look at the computer. Uh, before we do, I'm just going to connect my LAN cable into, there's two ports on the back of this. There's LAN 1 and there's LAN 2. You must connect into LAN 1. And the other end will go into your laptop. So, I'm just going to quickly sign in. So assuming you don't already have the update tool and software, I'm going to show you how to do that. It doesn't have to be Google, use whichever search engine you like, but if you search Mitsubishi Electric Document Library, it should be the first result you get. And this will be the landing page, this is what's called the directory. I'm going to scroll down to controls, select controls. The next thing we need to select is software downloads. And then this bit can be any order you want. So I would say go for the tool first. You want item number four, A200E slash EW50 update tool. I'm going to click on that. And you see here that's been downloaded. And if we go back, I can either use the back icon up here or I can just click here. It takes me back. And now I'm going to go on controller updates. Item 1, A200, and now that has, or is currently downloading that. There we go, so I've got my update tool, and I've got the software update that we're going to deliver. Um, one thing I didn't point out on the control itself, on that login page, on the bottom, it will show you what firmware version you've got currently. Um, so, if you go to your downloads, so you see I've got my update tool and I've got my software. So I'm going to install that. Next, you're going to have to agree if you want to do the update. This is just if you've got more than one profile on the computer, do you want everyone to see it or just you? I'm just going to leave it to me because I'm the only one who uses this device. And click next. And then that will install. That'll be our job. Quick as that. Done. So, the next part, what we need to do, 
need to open up the internet, uh, not the internet, we need to go to our network and internet settings. Yeah. This icon here, click on there, and then we're going to select Ethernet properties. For some reason, I have to then go back on mine. This is what we're looking for uh, related settings, change adapter options. Double click on Ethernet. Select properties, and then you're looking for this icon here Internet Protocol version 4, and in brackets it's got TCP, IPv4. Select OK, or you can double click. You're going to want to double click to get this screen here. So, automatically, um, the default setting is obtain IP address automatically. You will need to select use the following IP address. And this is where we're going to enter the information we saw on the AE200 controller. But for this last part, on R1 it was a 2. If I put 2 here, it's not going to work. So I need to just put something close to it. Alright? Click on the bottom line, it loads that automatically. Click OK and we should be good. So now if I open that tool, you can see it's just automatically put the tool on my desktop. So I can open that now and we'll know because we've got our cables connected and I now have to enter the exact IP address that we want to speak to. Go acquire data and we can see straight away it's found the A200. It's telling me it's software version 7.99 brackets 107, and that is the latest version. Um, when it comes to actually doing your update, because assuming your your uh, current version is not going to be that, hence the need to do the update. You're going to go to update file, and click on browse. Mine was in my downloads. realised I'm going to have to unzip that file first by the looks of it. So if I go to downloads, unzip it here. So that's uh, it'll download it as a compressed WinZip file. That's the uh, one little bit I missed there. So once that's Unzipped, should be good to go. So it's just saying, where do I want to put it? And I will just quickly. That in a folder that's going to make sense to me. Desktop, some the desktop, that's it. What's important to note if you end up creating more than one version of that, you're going to change the file name and it's, it, you've got to find the original one so that you don't try to um, upload the wrong type. So now on the tool, if I go browse, I believe I put it on my desktop. And there's the file we're looking for, the A200, and you can see it's that software version 0799-0107. So now I want to go OK, and then it would be a case of clicking Update. ID, so this will be the same as what you used for signing into the AE controller earlier. ID, password, click OK, and you can see on my one, as I mentioned already, ours was on the latest version, so it's saying already updated, but for your one, it will 
update, it'll take a moment and then the A controller itself will show that it's uh, doing an update, it might take 5 to 10 minutes, it'll reboot and your controller should be good to go. Hopefully that works for you.